weather was too bad for flying when Mr. Eden got to Russia, so he travelled by train. And there was a fine reception for him at Moscow. Sub-zero weather, but a very warm welcome led by Mr. Molotov. Still closer collaboration between Britain and the Soviet is certain to follow the visit, which was packed with interest from beginning to end. Mr. Maisky was with him on his tour, and Sir Stafford Cripps was also there, of course. Mr. Eden, back in London, has told the story of the visit himself. An occasional stop gave us a chance to stretch our legs and to freeze our moustaches in a temperature of 58 degrees of frost. To keep an engine running in such a temperature is a problem all to itself. To keep a human body alive, if you don't know just how to set about it, is not too easy either. All this and much more the Germans are learning from the Russian winter. Hitler has always liked a war of movement. He is getting it now. We saw what had evidently been the scene of pretty tough fighting some few miles north of Klim. Russian and German tanks were knocked out by the roadside. In a ditch were frozen German corpses. Out of the untold suffering of the present war, the Soviet Union wishes to gain a lasting peace for all its peoples. So do we. For these common objects, we must work together to win the war and to win the peace. With the experience of our Moscow talks fresh in my mind, I am convinced that we can do both. 